medal in 1980 and a doctoral with a UGC fellowship degrees from Indian Institute of Science Bangalore in 1982 and 1989 respectively. Sir has held several important academic research and administrative positions at Indian Institute of Science Bangalore, Tata Consulting Engineers, Northeastern Regional Institute of Science and Technology that is NERI ST, Uttar Pradesh, IIT Guwahati, and College of Engineering, NERIST, and IIT Guwahati, and as a director, COEP, he has taken up several new initiatives for academic curricular and co curricular activities, entrepreneurship, research, and good government certification, and Atal faculty development programs, creating first ever India's MOOC platform, that is Swayam, examination reforms, innovation movement, series of hackathons. IT Institution of Engineers, that is IE and INAE. He has been bestowed with several awards, which include Entrepreneur Award 2011 of Praj Industries, Jeevan Gauro Puraskar, that is a Lifetime Achievement Award from MIT World Peace University Pune in 2019, Mahatma Gandhi Leadership Award from Indian Achievers Forum and CSR Times 2019. Recently, he has also been conferred. Ravi J. Mathai National Fellow Award by AIMS 2021. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So it's our honor and privilege uh, to have Professor Anil D. Sasrabude, Chairman, All India Council for Technical Education with us. Uh, as he is there with us online, I request our Honorable President and Chairman Board of Governors to felicitate Sir by uh, showing the memento we have prepared uh, for him. So, I request the cameraman to zoom the memento. Thank you, everyone. May I now request an honorable president of Anjuman Assalamu alaikum. Namaskar. Still good morning. It gives me great pleasure. To pharmacist and architects. The nation looks upon you as the architect of vibrant India. And India our beloved country is poised to become Vishwaguru. Bharat Varsh will be of utmost importance. My young friends, you are extremely fortunate, including the management of this institution. As the chief guest, the most dynamic chairman of EICT, Government of India, <clears throat> he is an engineer of our outstanding achievement to his career, who has 
served in various capacity in a manner that would be of any one stream to be in that position. I know, know Professor Sarsra Buddha through my younger brother, engineer Salim Kazi. They were classmates and we Yes. Up the distinguished chief guest of today's function. Keep persons and then they are to execute is none other than. Sri Anil Sarsabuddhi Ji, Aapka Swagat Tam, Aur Performance and brought EICT to the line like not in India but world over. And we have new education policy today. Under the chairman of another engineer and scientist, Krishna Swami, since you were born, they have struggled in the life to give you a quality education in Kalsekar technical camp first. And, and you are fortunate that you, you were part of achieved the success and the degree is being conferred on them. Parameters with the why I say this Today, the world is very dynamic. Education, which is imparted to you, today okay. 
may be relevant for some time. But there is going to be a reskilling of the education from, from time to time. I'm saying so for, for, for the simple reason. Then don't ever think that your studies are over. Learning process is over. Actually, into world class institution. Thereafter, the real work starts. You have to keep up to the reputation of the organization that you are in. Your organization will live. Someone who had to do the, the site, sky is, is the dream. Are those which don't let you sleep and then visit about became the missile man of in India and the world. And never we'll give up. You have to train let you sleep. So please. 